All right, so somebody asked me the question, how sharp can you make a metal ruler? I went on the hunt to find a metal ruler that looked like it was a good candidate to be sharpened, and I found a lot of rulers that looked like this. They were just this thin metal with a cork backing, super flimsy. I mean, look at this thing. You can just probably break it. I can't, I can't sharpen that. There's nothing you can do with that. But I did find this ruler, which is stainless steel, very sturdy, like pretty stout, something that I think we can really make something out of. And I don't know what kind of steel it is. It's like, it tastes like a good steel. So I think this will serve our purposes. So we're gonna sharpen this and see how sharp we can make it. All right, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by NordVPN. Now, what is a VPN and why do you need one? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And as far as what they do, they do a lot of things. But the most important thing that they do is they encrypt your data to keep it safe. So if you are connected to, let's say, a public Wi-Fi connection, if you're connected to this public Wi-Fi and a hacker is also connected to this public Wi-Fi, this hacker can have access to your information. They can get your credit card information, social security number, all that sensitive information that you really wouldn't want anybody to have. So if you have a VPN, then the VPN will encrypt your data between you and that connection, so that way this hacker can no longer have access to your connection. So that is something that they do that is very important. Now, something else that they do is they have over 5,100 servers across 60 different countries. So what you can do with that is you can virtually change your location with your VPN. So let's say you are in America, and there is a show that is on Netflix that is only available in the UK. If you're in America, obviously you can't watch that, but if you use a VPN and you change your location to the UK, now you can have access to that show, or vice versa. Say you went on vacation to the UK, and they didn't ha you didn't have access over there to a show that is based in America that you like to watch. You can change your location to America, and then now you have access to that show. And it also works the exact same way with gaming. You like playing on a specific server that is geo-restricted, and then say you move, you're on vacation, you know, whatever the case is, and you want to continue to play on that server, you can just use a VPN, change your location, and then now you have access to your server. And also something else you can do with the VPN and something that I have personal experience with is a lot of internet service providers will try to throttle your data after you have used a certain amount and they will try to throttle your streaming data or your download speed or whatever it is. So what you can do is if that's happening to you, you can use a VPN and then your data is now encrypted. So your internet service provider cannot see it and therefore they cannot throttle it. So that way you can get all of the internet usage that you are paying for. So if you are in the market for a new VPN, you can go to nordvpn.com forward slash TylerTube or you can just click the link in the top of my description and you can get a huge discount on a two year plan. And then with that, you will get one additional free month. All right, so before we even think about sharpening anything, uh, we need to make a handle because this, uh, the sides of this thing, I mean, they're just, especially when you squeeze on it, they're sharp. I don't want this thing to slide inside my hand when I have a good grip on it, and it, it would most definitely probably cut you. So I'm just gonna do something as simple, and uh, we're just gonna use electrical tape. Electrical tape make, it will make an excellent handle. So what I'm gonna do is, it's a 16 inch ruler, go from the 12 inch mark. So we'll have a 12 inch blade, and then I'm just gonna make the rest of this a handle. About right there. That should work. Let's see how that feels. Oh, that's that's much better. Not the greatest thing in the world, but that will definitely keep it from digging into my hand. And then now we can <laughs> now we can focus on sharpening this thing. That is actually perfect. I really like that. All right. So as most of you probably know, for the main. Uh, for sharpening, what we're going to use is the work sharp, and I think I'm, I should be able to just use this for the entire process. I don't think I'm going to need my whetstones. This thing has uh, five different belts. Yeah, it has five different belts. We're going to run it through all of them, and by the end, we should have just a razor sharp edge. So, let's get started.
so after running this through this uh, work sharp with all the different belts, I think we finally have an edge that is, it doesn't feel like crazy sharp, but for a ruler, this is, I mean, this is probably gonna be about as good as it gets. So let's break out the sharpness tester. So just as a reference, before I throw this on the sharpness tester, I tested a brand new utility razor blade, just the, like the one that you'd put in a refillable uh, utility knife. Uh, this uh, registered at a 200, so that's kind of a good baseline. Everybody pretty much knows how sharp a razor blade is. So razor blade was at 200. Let's see where this thing is at. It's kind of awkward to hold where, it's still, where the blade is so long. So let's see where we're at. Okay. We're about 530. So more than double what a razor blade is. But 530 is still pretty sharp. Like, not it's not crazy sharp. But whenever you take into consideration that this is just like some mystery steel and it's obviously not hardened at all i mean a 530 is pretty impressive so let's take this and try to cut some things and uh see how it performs first let's just do a paper test since everybody seems to love a good paper test that's not bad it's a, a little bit rough there's probably still there's probably still a little bit of burr in there Oh, especially if you slice real fast. That's <laughs> this thing <clears throat> for a ruler. I mean, I think a lot of people might uh, might not be too impressed with this, but for a ruler, I think this is crazy. I have some just regular 550 paracord. Let's see how it cuts that. Ooh, a lot of times with a dull knife, cutting 550 paracord, you kind of have to like slide it for a while before it cuts. That cut really fast. That's impressive. So I know, I have first-hand experience what it's like to cut a paracord with a dull knife, because I do it all the time. So what about something thicker, like this rope? I don't know exactly what kind of rope this is. It's very thick, though. Let's see if we can cut this. Okay, had to slide it a little bit more, but, I mean, still one swipe. This thing is actually a really good cutter. And it doesn't it doesn't feel like a 500 or a 5 whatever it was, 520. Okay. It's a little weird whenever you go to put pressure on something and it like starts to bend and stuff. It's sharp. So obviously you know we can't leave without doing a water bottle test. Usually we only cut one, but today I'm feeling kind of froggy and I feel like where this blade or not play, where this ruler is so thin, I feel like it should slice really easily. So we're gonna see if we can cut four of them. All right, try to see if we can hit right in the middle. Okay. I mean, we cut the tops off of all four. It looks like I kinda like went up at an angle though. I would have stayed more flat if I could have easily sliced them in half. I really want to try that again. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, this water bottle dumped all the water on my sock. Now my foot's all wet. I think, I think the blade like twisted or did something weird that time because I felt it on my thumb. Oh, now I got a wet sock. Oh, that time I didn't even Oh, this one has a little hole in it. I missed two of them completely. Maybe some slow motion will uh, reveal what happened. Let's go ahead and finish these off. <laughs> okay, I think, I think we've made enough of a mess. So, as it turns out, you actually can get a ruler uh, pretty sharp not uh, like crazy sharp, but you can get it, you know, sharp enough to cut some water bottles, cut some rope, and actually make it a pretty effective blade. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.